Hey, Bill here. And uh, you know the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I would argue that a video is worth 10,000 or more, depending on the length of the video. <laughs> but uh, the reason why I want to make this video is uh, I see a lot of people struggle to do screen captures. Um, Windows has a internal tool, uh, so does Mac. Uh, but there is a tool out there that's very easy to use. It's free, and you, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Uh, because when people s s uh, submit support tickets or things like that, if uh, if they were able to do a little video of what they're talking about, it'd be a lot easier to troubleshoot. So um, what I want to do is you go to a website here called monosnap.com. And uh, you'll be you'll have to create an account. Uh, go ahead, create your account. And uh, once you're done creating your account, you can log in, and then you can download it for the operating system that you're using, uh, whether it's Windows or Mac. And uh, let me go ahead and oops. Let me go ahead and log in. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do. Uh, you see that I use it a lot with uh, software development and um, working with my my staff to show them what I want, what to change, etc. Uh, so what we're going to do though now is I want to get once you download Monosnap, you want to then run the program. So I'm on a Windows machine and I'm going to find Monosnap here recently added. Uh, it, or somewhere down below. Once you open it, you will see this little icon here in the lower right hand corner or somewhere on your screen. Sometimes it's like a browser extension and it shows up there. I think that shows up on Mac that way. Let's say I wanted something modified on this page and I was going to tell my developer to do so. Um, so what I'm going to do is here on the monosnap icon, I click and let's say I want to do a full screen capture. If I click that, you'll see that instantly it has captured the image of my screen. Um, and you can see that if I move this window around, you'll see that that is a capture of my screen. OK, uh, then you can you know name the file here. Whatever you want. And the, one of the really cool things, <clears throat> once you're done with that, down here in the lower right hand corner, you'll see the save button. So you can either A, save it to your computer, or B, oops, I closed the image. Uh, so you can save it to computer. Let me get you uh, two more examples. You can do a capture area, and you'll see that it gives you these crosshairs so that you're able even to, um, make your capture right on the image so you can see how um, detailed you can be. And there's my join button. Uh, now let's say that I wanted to change something with that join button. You have all these tools down here once you get your capture. So here I'm going to use the brush. Here's the color of my brush. And I'm going to say, you know, remove this word or whatever make this uh, sentence case you know whatever it is you know whatever you need um, but that's really cool because you're able to do things like that so let's go ahead and just get a capture full screen again um, and then we come down here to our editing tools let's say i tell the developer all right i want to get rid of this and uh, and then I, I say something like add um ADA here, okay? So I tell him get rid of the Bitcoin, add ADA widget from Coin Market Cap. Um, I might say I want to, you know, and then I might say um, remove this word here. Whatever it is, you get the idea, right? And the cool thing is, once you're done with that, if you don't want to save it to your computer, you can actually click this upload button down there. Now that just uploaded it to the server for monosnap and you see it copied a link to the clipboard so if i go to a new tab here i can paste and go 
and you'll see that this is now on a web link. So I could, I could actually email that link to somebody or the one that they used in the URL shortener. So now they can see what you're referring to. <clears throat> now it gets even cooler, right? Because that's worth a thousand words. But let's get something worth 10,000 plus. Uh, what we're going to do now, we go to this uh, monosnap and we're going to do record desktop. Now here you have this window and whatever you're going to record has to fit in that window or you can of course take a corner and change the size of it, right? So here we're going to record um, that right there. So now I'm going to hit the record button. And now what I'm doing is I'm recording whatever's inside this light box. So now what you want to do is um, record whatever is inside that window. So let's say again, I want to record something inside here. Um, whatever it is, you might want to record your entire screen. Uh, but you could use this for a tutorial video. Uh, I don't use this software for the videos I do. But this is something pretty simple. If you were saying I'm having this issue with this website or with my wallet and here's a little video I made showing the problem I'm encountering. Um, so once you're done, then you can um, press the record and that's going to process the video. And guess what? You're going to be able to upload it to the MonoSnap server. So here's the video. You can watch the video that you did. And then you can either A, save it to your uh, computer, B, you can upload it to the MonoSnap server and then get a link just like the image and share that. Or C, you can actually upload it to YouTube and then it'll be on YouTube to share with a YouTube link. So I thought this was just a really powerful tool. I wanted to let people know about it because I think it will enhance communication uh, of issues uh, and other things. So, um, have fun.